Savitri, page 402. Close is my father's creepered hermitage, screened by the tall ranks of these silent kings, sung to by voices of the hue robbed choirs, whose chants repeat transcribed in music's notes, the passionate colored lettering of the bows, and fill the hovers with their melodious cry. Amid the welcome hum of many bees, invade our honeyed kingdom of the words. There let me lead thee into an opulent life. Bare, simple is the sylvan hermit life, yet is it clad with the jewelry of earth. Wild winds run, visitors miss the swaying tops. Through the calm days, heaven's sentinels of peace, couched on a purple robe of sky above, look down on a rich secrecy and hush, and the chambered nuptial waters chant within, enormous, whispering, many formed around, high forest gods have taken in their arms. The human hover, a guest of their centuried palms, apparelled are the morns in gold and green, sunlight and shadow tapestry the walls, to make a resting chamber fit for thee. A while she passed as if hearing still his voice, unwilling to break the charm, then slowly spoke. Musing, she answered, I am Savitri, princess of Madra. Who art thou? What name musical on earth expresses thee to men? What trunk of kings, watered by fortunate streams, has flowered at last upon one happy branch? Why is thy dwelling in the pathless wood, far from these, thy glorious youth demands, haunt of the anchorites and earth's wider broods, where only with thy witness self thou roamst in nature's green and human loneliness, surrounded by enormous silences and the blind murmur of primeval calms. <laughs>